Hello and welcome back to Beyond the Nexus, where we have esports coverage from all over the world. Today, we're recapping Gold League and Gamescom and looking forward to PAX. So, let's get started. We're starting off this week in Heroes in Europe, where the second team to represent the region at BlizzCon has been found. Team Dignitas went up against Misfits in the Grand Finals and was able to beat them, which meant Misfits then had to go on to play Fnatic, the second place team from DreamHack Valencia, to figure out which one is going to get the BlizzCon ticket. And although Misfits were able to beat Fnatic earlier in the day in the semifinals 3-2, it was Fnatic who won that important tiebreaker series in a series that really, again, came down to the final game. No! In the very last match, there was not a single kill until 25 minutes into the game. You could just feel the tension coming from these players, just always posturing around one another, so afraid to take a fight because if they lose one person, they're just going to lose the game. But in the end, Fnatic was able to take it, so they get the ticket to BlizzCon, and for the first time, we'll be representing Europe for a global championship. We're going to be talking more about Fnatic in depth soon, but for now we're going to move on to Korea to talk about the Super League. Group A concluded this week and MVP Miracle won the group by beating Boom. Yeah, MVP Miracle now with having people like Crazy Moving or Sniper, which are ex-members of TNL, have shown insane rotations around their opponents, constantly manipulating the map and just it's beautiful to watch them play. Yeah, their rotations made it so difficult for their opponents to ever really get a lead over them. And in this series in particular, they had several awe-inspiring late-game decisions made to force their opponents into checkmates. But Boom didn't go easy. They put up a very good fight against MVP Miracle, and then they moved on to lower bracket to try and take on Tempo Storm. But it's Tempo Storm, right? It's very difficult, and they ended up losing the series, meaning Tempo Storm will move on to the semifinals. So they're actually going to get kills. Okay, tries to actually put off that mosh, but gets killed in a matter of seconds here. Duck Duck is back, putting on loads of damage. Magi does get blown up. Oh, and Falstead dying instantly. There was huge. There's a Twilight Dream. The resets are real. That Twilight Dream, man, so well done. In China, the Gold League finished up this week with surprising results. First off, the two teams that won the group stage, X Team and E Star, both lost their first playoff games to Super Perfect Team and Zero Gaming. This means that we were 100% sure that we would not have the exact same teams representing China at BlizzCon as we saw in the last Global Championship. X Team and E Star went head to head in the losers bracket, and E Star was the team that pulled ahead. In the winners' finals, Super Perfect Team were able to take out Zero Gaming, which guaranteed them the first of China's BlizzCon spots. Zero Gaming then had to go down to the lower bracket finals to face their rivals E-Star and they beat them. Which means we have two brand new teams from China who have never represented the region at a global championship. Super Perfect Team and Zero Gaming. And finally for North America we know the eight teams that will be representing the region at PAX West. And because, yet again, there was another roster shuffle prior to these qualifiers, we thought we'd take a moment to try and break down who exactly is heading to PAX. So we're going to do this in order of qualifying. Starting with their performance at PAX West, we have Murloc Geniuses and Gale Force Esports. Murloc Geniuses didn't change their roster. Not surprising considering the fact that they won the event and have already secured their spot to BlizzCon. But it goes downhill from here. Gale Force Esports has picked up fan from Neventic and then removed Rafflecopter, who is now moving into retirement. Team Neventic, who had to play through the qualifiers, ended up moving Tomster to the Melee Flex vacancy left by Fan and also pulled in Jason from Gul'dan's game, which has been renamed to Dumpster Tier Superstars, and they qualified in the first qualifier. And if that wasn't enough, we have Denial Esports has removed Prismaticism from the roster and then picked up iDream from retirement, which means now the roster is three-fifths Cloud9. Cladius was removed from Astral Authority to make way for another player to exit retirement, Equinox. Both Astral Authority and Dumpster Tier Superstars qualified in the second qualifier. And the last two teams to make it to PAX West were Team Name Change, who surprisingly didn't have a roster swap, and then a new team, Imported Support which doesn't have too many players that you may be able to recognize, but there is one that stands out, and that is going to be Shot. 
Shot played with ASU during Heroes of the Dorm and won the event with a couple of members from Gale Force Esports, but then also used to compete competitively with Cognitive Gaming back in the day, always placing in that third, fourth range. There is a lot of hype heading into PAX, but there was a lot of it in Europe for Gamescom as well. Yeah, the shot calling for the rotations or whether or not it be the focus fire of the teams like Kelthos, Kelthos, Kelthos. So let's listen in to Breeze as well as some of the rest of Europe on Calm Down. It was a game without any death. We had zero, 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 zero. Atas, 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 atas. Guys on bottom. We push bottom, push bottom. Start to push bottom then. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Nice. Rayman, I DM. What is the fifth? Doom. Doom. Okay. Next one. Nice, 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 nice. Blam B, Blam B, Blam B, Blam B, Blam B. Now again, go, go. We do this. Rayman is going top. No, 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 down. Five. 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 Once again, the European champion. Right wing as well. Blum it, blum it, blum it, blum it, blum it, blum it. On the way out, we pay. Nice, nice, nice. Just make sure Kerrigan doesn't explode at the start of the fight. Anyone else needs to right now? Yeah, I go. We go here, we go here, we go here, we go. We pay for them, we pay for them. Hey, bottom. Yeah, but you're gula, you're gula, you're gula. Yes, 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 yes. We go mid, we go mid. We want to fight the squishies. We should have a hand, not to make the damage, not to make the damage. Let's go, 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 let's
For what to watch in Korea over the next week, we are going to be concluding Super League's Group B. We have L5 and MVP Black still undefeated in that group, so tune into OGN to figure out who comes out on top. Next weekend is the regional finals for Latin America. Big Gods will be fighting to see if they can once again represent Latin America at a global championship for a third time in a row. And next week we also have PAX West North American Regional where we'll figure out the second team to represent North America at BlizzCon. And here at Beyond the Nexus we are proud to be able to announce the groups for you guys. In Group A is Murloc Geniuses, Denial Esports, Dumpster Tier Superstars, and Team Name Change. And for Group B, we have Gale Force Esports, Naventic, Astral Authority, and Imported Support. Oof, that Group B though. Good luck to all of the teams, and we hope to see you guys at PAX. But until then, we'll see you in the Nexus.